here, you've got to go up this way. Get out of way. Put this way. Get out of way. Where are we? We're in the middle of the countryside. We're going to go see the sea. See? The sea. It'll be nice to get this stuff to uh, have a look at. And see well, if they can yes. Use uh -huh. it for the unit. I know. Because give them something else to think about instead of them the normal stuff. Exactly. Um, you know, we could take some samples back maybe and see what there is. Yeah, like them have a wee. Where are you taking me, Leo? Oh, well, I'm taking you to the sea. And why? Why have you got a hammer? Aha, that will become apparent soon. Right, okay, right, let's go then. I thought you were taking me to see the sea. This is the sea. But how is this the sea? There's no beach, there's no water. There's... Yeah, there isn't now, uh -huh. but you can see the evidence for it in the rock facing behind us here. Right, okay. But the sea is like kind of beach and water. We're in the middle of a field here. We are, we're in the middle of a hole in the field in fact. This is a quarry that's been dug out and has exposed this wonderful section of uh, old sea. Now, what I mean by old sea is this rock here and this rock here look different, right, don't okay. they? Right, okay, uh-huh. Right, very different. Very different. Well, this rock here is uh, limestone and this is mudstone and these were laid down in a right. shallow sea. Okay. It's more like a sea bed than the sea. Right, okay. Yeah. So, what we're looking at here is what's happening underneath the waves. Right, got you. Right. In, in quite a shallow sea, really, this was. Uh, more like the Caribbean, quite warm, uh -huh. shallow, lots of fish and coral and everything right. going on. So, can you explain to me what I, all this is, if it is the sea? Yeah. It's interesting right. this part because if you see these heavy bits here, uh -huh. these are limestone. Right, that yes. is, This limestone is laid down in quiet seas. Uh -huh. And it's made up of grains of right. sand, so it means it's a bit deeper. Uh -huh. Whereas the stuff above here, you see this stuff uh -huh. here? That's kind of... Yeah, that, right. uh -huh. that, that real crumbly stuff. That real crumbly stuff is called mudstone. And that indicates that we had sea here uh -huh. and we had fresh water. All right, okay. Uh -huh. Coming into the sea. Yes. So this is fairly close to the coast. Right, okay. And it shows that... We had sea and then fresh water and sea and fresh water and sea. So we've got quite a sequence uh -huh. of the sea going right in and out. What, what's all this at the top? Like? That, that is a good question. Up to this point, what we've got here is we've got that one, that one, that one, that one, and then you get into the massive block. Uh -huh. Well, these are all indicators of changes in sea level. Right, okay. So uh -huh. at this particular point in the sea, we have an interface between land and sea uh -huh. at, the, at this point down here but as we go further up the sea becomes more uh, static right. in its okay in its position uh -huh. so the rocks above show that the sea has just stayed at the same depth pretty much right. whereas here it's changing in depth and in context it's got it's got fresh water in here it's got mud it's got a different kind of flora and fauna or plants and animals to uni. Okay, right. Uh, and uh, differs quite diff uh, markedly from that one. So where, I mean, how many years ago was, was this uh, a sea? That, that's a good question, actually. This, this sea was around about 360 million years ago. Now, to give that some sort of context, that, that's, that's, if you think about the land, and people know about T-Rex and uh -huh, dinosaurs yeah. like that, well, <clears throat> this was around before the dinosaurs, really. Right. This sea was actually at the start of a very important point for the Earth. Okay. When the oxygen levels in the atmosphere from the plants and, uh -huh. and the sea animals built up high enough to allow animals to first go out and uh, go onto the land. Right, okay. So on the land at the minute, when this sea is about, you've got amphibians. So okay. like frogs. Right, okay. So animals like frogs. Uh -huh. they, can, they can live in and out yeah. of water. Uh -huh. Um, and they then went on to become the reptiles that then became the T-Rexes and the Diplodocuses right. and, and so the and dinosaurs that we know as of today They, came, right, they from, came from this sea They came from this very sea They came from this very sea yeah. Right, okay See if it was an ocean as you yeah. say Were there any animals on it? Yeah, there was corals and shellfish and fish and all sorts of lots of, lots of life in the ocean at this time Okay um, Probably more so than there is now Right. There's animals throughout here, but the ones that are really nice to look at and easy to pick out are in the dark mudstone layers. So if you follow me up the cliff face, we'll just have a wee look. Okay, so here we have, uh, if you run through here, 
you can start pulling little bits out. Now that's just mudstone. If you look just here, Robbie, uh -huh. look at here. You see this thing come? I'm, oh, it's working uh -huh. around here. It's like a bit of a stick. It is just like a bit of stick. It is, in fact, a bit of coral. So if we gently tap the mudstone around. So what I'm doing is I'm just chipping away the mudstone around and about the, the, the uh, fossil we're looking for. And slowly but surely, it's knocking off, away. it's coming away, Robbie, yeah. And I'm about to hand you your first bit of 400, 400, well pretty much 400 million years old. 360 million years old bit of coral, there you go. Alright. It looks like a branch from today, doesn't it? It does. It looks like it's came off a tree. It does. So, that's your, that's your bit of coral there. So we'll go back down and what we might do is, this is a bit tricky to get to this one. Uh -huh. So we might move around the quarry, uh, the quarry a little bit to the, some of the beds further around right. and, and we can have a maybe a closer look. No, that would be good. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm Look at that beautiful nodule there. There. Oh. That's a, oh, that uh -huh. poured a lot of water on that, that'd come up a butte. Oh, Robbie, look, look, look at this bit here. Look at oh, all uh -huh. these fossils coming out of this bed here. here. So is that coral? That's all coral, yeah. Is this right. bit, as you can see, maybe flattened? Uh huh. This should be round like the other ones, but it's not. It's been flattened over right. time. Oh, right. Okay, uh -huh. right, we'll move on again. So that's what all that is. That's yeah, all that, yeah. You sit here and pull the fossils out of the rock. Until the cows came on, there's a big bit up there, I think. So let's go again. Oh, oh uh -huh. that's a beauty. You see how big that is? Mm -hmm. It's been flattened again. Uh huh. That was that been a nice big thick piece of coral at one point. Oh, uh -huh. running through there. This is a wee bit harder this one. Um, what a bit of there's, there's actually better places to look at that sort of thing further around further the around the area. Right. Let's go along this way. What about, yeah. what about this bit here? Oh, have you found something? There's loads of shells in it. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at this. That's fantastic. Look at the detail in these know. shells. See how that one is open out? That's a bivalve. Uh-huh. I can feel the actual... The ridges. The ridges of the yeah. shell. Now we put down there. And these ones here, they look almost like modern cockles, don't they? They do. Had your eyes open this time? I did, yes. I don't think we'll be able to take this with us though, no, I think it's too big to quite carry on. bit, isn't it? We could try knocking a bit off, but we might do, we might spoil it. Looks as if there's shells in it. Oh, that's a fantastic piece. <gasps> Look at this bit in here then. You see the detail, the lines on the sh That's a beautiful piece of that. It's just that surface that you've right. caught there. So that's what would have been in the sea at yeah, one time, yeah. right? This would have been the seabed. Right, okay. And these would have drifted down or, uh -huh. or lived on the bottom and then got captured. Do you see these little spines? Mm -hmm. These are the little spines I was talking about that come off the, shell, right. off the shellfish. Um, a bit like a sea anemone. An enemy. I wonder if we could knock that down a bit. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's another one oh, on uh -huh. the other side. Look oh, at no. the other side. You turn it over and it's another amazing piece. <laughs> And, yep, there's more in there. Lose your feet. Yeah, there you again. There. there, yeah, that, that's... It was upside down. Yeah, they were getting the, the, the impression of it rather than actually the shell. Another bit there. Well, Robbie, I think you've, what they call, you found the mother load. I think I have, <laughs> yes. Want to watch it, this one. Yeah, there's, I mean, every piece I'm picking up at the minute has got shells sticking out of them. <laughs> Another bit? Uh -huh. Another bit? Okay. We could take some of these back to the school. We could. Um, oh, I've just noticed that one. Look at the size of that shell. Oh, uh -huh. That shell is huge. It's <coughs> quite a big shell, isn't it? Okay, we've found where we're going to take some of these. 
instead of kept their shape unlike the ones in the mudstone, uh -huh. you can still see how they're round. Sometimes the crack. There we go. Is there anything in that? Not really. Oh, there's a bit on the top there. Only tiny little shells in that one. Here's a bit of the air. <coughs> Should have brought my hammer and chisel. They're sticking out, yeah. That's underneath it. There. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so this is uh, a wee experiment. This rocks, as you, as you can see, is covered in fossils. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you pour water over it, it makes the fossils far better to see. So right. Far easier to see. So what we'll do is we'll... Look at that! Oh, uh -huh. Look at that! There they are. They're all coming out. Can you see that, uh -huh. Robbie? Yep. All the different bits are. Look at that! All the way down to the bottom. There we go. And it's absolutely rammed with big bits of coral. We see these. You remember seeing the flat ones when we uh -huh. were in mudstone? Well, this is this is what they should look like. Round. And bits there, and if you look down there, that's a good bit down there. Try to get a bit in the sun for you. But as you can see, this 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 bit of bed here is covered in bits of coral that have been. So that, if it wasn't flattened, would be exactly uh -huh. the same as right. that. Yeah, you can still see. Uh -huh. If I wetten this slightly, you can see the ridges on there. Yep. Match up even almost in coloration wise with the ridges on there. Right, okay. So because this has got lots of grains in it, uh -huh. it survives in its shape. And because that's from mudstone and has no grain, it gets squished. Right, got you. Right. Ah, what about this bit here? Let's have a look. look at that bit. Oh, perfect, that's lovely. Uh -huh. That'll do, eh? That'll do us. In the bag? Yes. Right, let's go. Where are we? Back to the classroom with these then. And show the kids. Show the kids. Let's, Let's go. go then.